I'm really pleased with the experience. I mean, I'm really happy you know, to have been invited to, to participate. And I, I think that there's, you know, definitely the need to, to, to bridge these two communities who that had, seem to have been, you know, separated for, and still are, I think, I have to say, after, after some of the conversations we have today. But I think it's, it's been a great event, really interesting talks, and, and, and I hope the, the, the outcome is that there's you know, a lot more things in common you know, between the two communities than we think. Even in today's world of uh, new technology, people tend to focus on one technology. This has been really powerful by showing multiple use cases for the same technology, and vice versa, multiple um, technologies for the same use case. To me, the, the most interesting uh, talks are, are the ones that, that, that show the experience of organization really going on the journey of, of implementing some great graph-based solution. So these are the most interesting ones. The outcome is that there is a lot of value in, in looking at data, you know, from the point of view of the connections between data points, looking at it structurally rather than looking at, at, at just uh, data you know, in a discrete manner as we've done for so many years. So. As a data architect, I really appreciated understanding the uh, benefits and disadvantages of different uh, techniques for the same uh, business requirements. Prototype, um, prototype graph, and also use a prototype of semantic um, to identify the edges. Good point, yeah. Agree with that. I think that the event has been great, and then, as I say, that there's a lot of potential, and I think there's still a lot that, that you know that has to be shared, and that people ha can can learn from from this kind of, of uh, yeah, very you know graph focused event. So, for, for me, the most powerful thing has been the mix of user experience and vendors.